Hello friends. This video I will show you how to make a very 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 simple camera app. With this app you can take a picture from your device. So let's get started. I have already created one project with the name camera demo. You can give any other name. And now let's go to the activity main file you can see there is no any views so first what i will do that i will take a image button so for that go to images and then you can see here we have this image button let's drag it out i am using here constant layout but you can use a relative layout or any other layouts that we use but for this very simple tutorial, I'm using this constant layout. And you can see it is asking for any default image. Since I don't have any default image, the one thing I can do instead of doing like that, instead of dragging out a image button like that, what we can do is that we can go to this text and writing manually you can we can make this image button manually by writing in the text what happen if we drag it out that we cannot place this image and if you do not select any image then you can see it does not retain here so to solve this problem you can uh, work, work it with this xml layout with this xml thing so let's write one let's put one image image button yes wrap content i want to make let's take it as math parent and for that also i will take it parent and let's give it a give it some id uh, android dot id id uh, what i want to do let's give, give it as image button let's right so this is the id for it now and we have this now we have to put the constraint and you can see this uh, that uh, it is not asking us for any default image but if we if we do with drag and drop feature then it will ask us for any now you can see there is one warning here missing content description attribute so we can put it here let's click there and we'll be able to see one pop-up menu here in this position but we have to wait for that yes you can see it is like this and now we have to add one content description content description actually i don't want to put this but since it is showing us an error, so I'm using this. But you can put any other content description. And you can see this is not fully matched parent. So let, let's make it. And now since we have this ID here, now we can instantiate it here. So let's create one reference variable for image button image button i want to call it as image button then in the on create i will instantiate that image button so i have the image button equal to find view by id yes we have this now it's main image button id Yes, this is the 
and also we have to cast it since this find view by id returns a view object so i have to cast it to image button everything the image button the text view the edit text all our views all are extending the view class so we have to make it so this actually this find view by id returns the view and we have to cast it to our actual which is in this case image view image button view then what i need to do uh, for that image view i will set on click listener or new on click listener and what i am going to do that when an user clicks in this image this image button then the camera will be on and he will be able to take a image from his camera and the image will be okay. I will make that app now so for that I have attached this set on click listener then here I have to take the help of an intent and let's name it as intent it is a class intent is a class which help us to go from one activity to another activity if you uh, have multiple activities in your app then you can go from one activity to another with this class and also you can go to another activity like camera or audio player any other app with this intent class in this case i will use this intent class for opening the camera so so to open the camera what we have to do is we have to pass this here media store dot action image capture and you can able to see this media class and it has a string image action image capture you can open this file by just clicking control pressing the control holding this control and click there where you want to go you can click there uh, so this will help us to take the image and then i have to start the activity for result here in this case i am not going from one activity or of our app to another activity of our same app but we are going from our activity to the camera so i have to write this start activity for result and this method will create one activity for result and the result will be returned in one new method that i will create here on activity result this method will contain the result that we are asking for but here i have to put one more thing that is the intent that i have created here intent sorry for that intent yeah and only intent i have to pass along with this intent sorry i have put it purpose and intent along with this intent i have to put one more thing and that is uh, request all right request code. this is not a predefined uh, integer but we have to define it and let's define it here this will help us to verify whether we have the correct result that we are asking for or we have some other result so let's copy it to time and i want to put it a value of one you have to make it as final in and we can also make it as static so that it will the value of this will not be sensed so static final int request code equal to one and what i have to do in this method is that on activity result here you can see we have this method text request code result code and the data actually this data will contain the photo and this result code is to verify our 
intent verify our result and this result code is this result code this is also help us to verify so here i have to take the condition whether we have the correct data or not for that i have to do like this request code equal to request code you can see if this happens and result code is equal equal result okay so it is predefined string i don't have to worry about this we have to check this and i have to check this also request code equal equal request if this condition is true that means we have our image so the image contains in the data so data it has one method uh, you can see this is a intent intent of intent reference variable this data so it contains the image data dot get uh, get data intent dot get extra yes get extra great here i have one method so this is the method get extras dot get and here i have to pass the string data this will give us the image and for to store this image i have to make one bitmap variable bitmap reference variable and let's call it as bitmap right and along with that we have to cast it also and now we have to just put the image in the image button so in this button dot we have one method here set image uri set image map and here we have to pass the bit and now our code is ready and let's run it and here we have this let's click ok and we have to wait for that and you can see that the app is launching and here we have this is our image button and when i will click here then you will be able to see that this camera is launching and i am using here one real device and here you can see the camera let's capture one yes i want to capture this here the charger of my phone so it is not focusing very good let's yes you can see we have these three options here the right and the, this button and also this button if we click this then it will cancel the image and we have to again take one more picture and let's take it this then and you can see a very brief description very brief tutorial you can extend this camera with adding more features but since i am making this videos for very beginners so i don't want to make it very long 